Hey coach, glad you found us on YouTube. Uh, a couple things, first of all, subscribe. Hit that little bell and subscribe every time you come up. My personal goal is to get to 100,000, so um, share the word, share, share everything and subscribe. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you win more games in less time, 30 plus years, lots of state championships. You can see them, some of them right here. Um, let me help you become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out and let's head off to the video. Here is my set of the week. My set of the week comes from a play that I designed last year when coaching uh, college as the lead assistant at the university that I was uh, coaching at, that we won the state championship. Uh, it was a play used as a counter, uh, only used if we needed it at the end of a game. Uh, to understand how this play was developed, uh, we originally would flatten the floor out and do a uh, flatten the floor out and then we would have a double high ball screen uh, from the four of the five to, to create action when the shot clock was going down but you could utilize this as a awesome way even at the high school level um, or at the collegiate level I think it's a little bit complex for middle school but I think it can be done in high school and I think it can be done at the collegiate level as well uh, when you are a person that utilizes a lot of high ball screen action this is a great counter uh, to, to that. Uh, so we would only use this if we needed it at the end of the game. That's why we call it victory. It would be used as a quick bucket at the end of the game not or a, a big shot that was needed. Uh, so the play would start with the four and five looking to set the high ball screen. Originally in uh, the uh, normal play of this, the ball screen would be set by the four and the five and then they would roll and one would pop. But here they're going to double slip and they're going to look to set a pin down screen for the two man in the corner. That is the first phase of the play. Second phase of the play is um, if the two man does not get the ball uh, for that shot, then the one man is looking uh, for a dribble handoff for uh, the three man coming across the lane uh, for the ball. Um, and so you can either look for that too, or the, if there's not, not action doesn't look good, then the one man is going to dribble towards the three for a dribble handoff action, and the one man is going to then break to the basket. After that, um, the three man looks to swing the ball to the two um, if needed, um, whether that is a shot that is unfolded or it needs to be as reversal. Uh, uh, and then this is where there's a second layer of this play, which um, we would probably not get into unless there was more time on than 10 seconds, um, which would be the option of here. Uh, you would look at a, another pin down, immediately pin down screen for the one for a jump shot um, as another opportunity for a jump shot late in the game, a, a quick shot. And then the last action would be if we couldn't get it to this side, the one would be coming across for a double, um, a double screen action for the one. Um, for realization, though, this all of this stuff is happening very quickly, and you, it's a bunch of different screen actions to create an open shot um, or somebody over committing, which could create a drive. Um, either way, it has a lot of action. It's something that you would have to totally be able to do um, through multiple practices to be good at. Um, but it's a great counter to a high ball screen action if you run it a lot in your offense um, because of the double double slip. Uh, the players aren't ready for that, which they're going to be kind of, it's going to distort the defense um, early in the set, which then you're going to get an option, whether it's a double pin down from the left side to the handoff ball screen action, um, the roll uh, to another, another screen to another screen. Somebody's going to be open for a shot especially if you need a bucket to lead you to victory or a tie or to, to get close. Um, that is my set for the week. Um, look forward to providing different sets on a weekly basis for tshoops.com. Thank you. Hey, Coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you go over and check out tshoops.com for coaches who want to get better and subscribe and like. Have a great day.